Solana and welcome back to my channel. So if you read by the title, you already know what we're doing today. I'm going to be giving y'all 30 plus YouTube video ideas to blow your channel up in 2023. Because this year is your year. Per. Um, to be honest, I didn't even do half of the stuff on this list. But you know, that's fine because now I could just, you know, take my own advice and do these videos as well. So not only am I putting y'all on, I'm putting myself on so we all can eat this year. Somebody had asked about my brown sweater like this from my Shein haul. Uh, I got them both from Shein. So I'll just put the link in the description if you really wanna know. Like if you really wanna know where I got it from, I'm gonna put it in the description for you. I got y'all. I'm not gonna ramble too much. We're just gonna get straight into the video. The first thing I have on my list is a Q&A. This is a perfect idea for your first video because it lets people know who you are and what you do and what type of vibe they're gonna get from your channel. The second video I got is unboxing video. If you get a new phone, a new iPad, a new camera, whatever it is, unbox it on camera because people like to see what they're gonna get before they buy it. Like they like to see everything that's in the box, all of that stuff. Fresh out the package. Like they wanna know what's in there before they go ahead and spend their money. When I got my 14 Pro Max, I unboxed that. I also unboxed my iPad. They all did pretty good on my channels. Third thing is what's on my iPhone. That's basically you screen recording and letting everybody see what's on your phone. Because people are nosy. They wanna know what's going on in your phone. Like what you searching up? What you searching up, what's in your photos, what's on your Instagram, all of that. They want to know what's the tea. So, clothing hauls, that's Shein, Fashion Nova, Pretty Little Thing, Jerry She, Jerry She, Jerry She. Y'all know what I'm talking about. All that type of stuff, if you get clothes for summertime, winter time, fall time, vacation time, if you have clothes, just do a haul so people can see how it looks on you and if they want to get it for themselves for their vacation or their summertime, you know, just put the girls on. Accessory haul, so that's something I did on my channel this year. The most viewed thing on my channel is accessory haul. That's from Shein. They did very well. Shein got a lot of stuff. It's also another app called Timu or Temu, T-E-M-U that I'm hearing of is getting kind of popular. Like I've been hearing about it for the past month now. If you order accessories from Shein or Timu, you want to do a haul on that. The next thing we have is the get ready with me. That's for like, say if you got high school, college, if you're going on vacation, you just show people what you do to prepare for your classes or say if you're going on vacation, how you get your nails done, your feet done, your eyebrows done, how you pack your suitcase. Show the people what you do to prepare for whatever it is you're doing. Next thing is a chit chat, get ready with me. So say if you're doing your makeup and you just want to vent about something, you can talk while you're doing whatever you're doing just to get off your chest. Or if you want to tell your subscribers what you have going on with your life, you do that while you get ready. Travel vlogs. Travel vlogs do well because some people don't be going on vacation. People want to see what type of stuff goes on. Say if you go to Puerto Rico or Miami, like Miami spring break vlog. If you're going to spring break, because I know I am, vlog that whole trip because people want to see stuff like that transformation slash maintenance vlog so say if you down and you want to make yourself feel better you go get your nails and your feet and your eyebrows and all that stuff done that's a maintenance vlog you will just record yourself going to get all that stuff done or transformation is looking crusty in a wig cap no lashes no none of that and then at the end you look real good real good yeah moving vlog so if you plan on moving anywhere this year go ahead and vlog that whole process i've seen a lot of people do like um moving out at 19 moving out at 18 moving out at 20. if you are one of them people just vlog that whole experience and then you get to go back and watch it so yeah room transformation if you do like a drastic change say if your room is not so cute or even if it is and you just want to switch it up just record that whole process so people can see the before and the after birthday vlog Show people what you're gonna do for your birthday. Say if you have a dinner, or if you have a photo shoot, or if you go on vacation, just vlog that. Instagram followers control my life for the day. Basically, you just do polls on your story and you tell people like, should I eat this today or that today? Should I go here or there today? You know, stuff like that. They control your whole life for the day. A day in my life. If you're doing something productive that day, you just pick up the camera and vlog. A week in my life. So if you have an important week where you got a lot of stuff going on, you just take the camera with you vlog that whole week a self-care day if i did one of these that's when you just take the time and focus on yourself if you want to meditate wash your hair get in the shower brush your teeth stuff that you should be doing don't don't be dirty 
though we did a day just to yourself all about you doing whatever you want to do that day you just vlog that a skincare routine so if you're somebody who's really big on skincare and you know you get compliments about your skin all the time you could go ahead and pick up the camera and show everybody what you use because some people can use that information to help them with their skin one billion dollar morning routine i wanted to try this but uh, I'm gonna just read out the stuff you're supposed to do and you just let me know if you ever think you ever gonna do something like this Wake up early. So like 5 a.m. Recall your dreams make your bed drink a tall glass of water take vitamins slash probiotics breathe in exercises or meditation for 20 minutes one or two minutes of movement take a cold shower do your normal routine make tea write in a journal write to do list write to feel list write to be list read for 20 to 30 minutes make a smoothie and start your day they want you to do all of that stuff start my day that is my whole day right there that's why I'm like hmm I wanted to do something like that but I think it's a cool idea though like if you end up doing it uh y'all tag me in it so i can see it because y'all bold i'm probably will never do nothing like that i'm not gonna say never i probably would just not no time soon all right next one pulling an all-nighter i did do this one self-explanatory you just vlog yourself and you're gonna try to stay up to like eight o'clock the next day i felt but you know the next two probably go hand in hand mukbangs and story times mukbang is just you eating and talking about something that's why i said just stay hand in hand because you can have a mukbang while you're doing a story time a girl talk you know that's self-explanatory unpopular opinions i did this one pranks now pranks are always popular even if it's not in your niche i feel like it doesn't matter because niches are good and all but i feel like you don't want your channel to be known for just one thing because you change sometimes you don't want to do the same stuff all the time that's why i would rather not put my channel in a box I'd rather just do all different types of stuff so people want to see me for me, not for just doing this particular thing. Because as soon as you try to switch it up, then they're going to be mad at you and they're going to want to watch your stuff no more. So yeah, it doesn't matter what your niche is. Pranks are always funny. So if you got a good prank idea, you just do it. Any trending challenges, for example, a challenge that I see trending right now is the hot seat. Any challenge that you do, just make it your own. Make it so they're not seeing the same thing every time they click on that type of video. Like you have a different vibe your video to make yours unique and just be yourself yeah the next couple stuff is basically like how to so if you know how to do your hair do your hair tutorials for example the claw clip trend that was going around if you know how to do that go ahead and make a video on that because people are like looking that up right now another example is how i make my thumbnails because thumbnails are really important it's the first thing somebody sees before they click on your video so if your thumbnail not good then they probably won't watch it if you know how to do a cute thumbnail just post it so we know what we're doing like let's all just you know let's all eat like i said don't be stingy with your craft let people know so they can do it too but yeah any other how to's if you know how to do something that you feel like other people don't know how to do show us youtube video ideas which is the video that i'm doing right now how to start or grow a youtube channel that is a good video that does very well on people's channels the last thing i have is for when you get monetized because you will get monetized this year y'all y'all gotta speak it into existence okay you gotta manifest everything you want so once you hit that monetization on youtube this year because y'all know y'all gonna hit it right all right you could do a how much is my first youtube check and um my video coming real soon real bad i'm gonna do that video how much is my first youtube check because uh people want to know what's the hype about the youtube money like how much is you making on a video that got like 100k views and how much is you making on a video that got like 200 views let us know like let us know how much was your first youtube check another good thing about that video is that it gives people motivation to push harder to do very well on their channel so they can get the same amount of money that's all i got for y'all uh, i don't got nothing else so uh, if you need anything else I just don't know what to tell you. I just don't have it no more. I, I tapped out. But yeah, that's everything. I just want to say, if you start YouTube this year, just know you can do anything you put your mind to. I know that's so like basic. Everybody say that, but that is just the truth. It's all about your mindset. As long as you have your mindset on your goals for the year, if it's YouTube, if it's content creating, just stay focused. Manifest what you want. Do a little meditation, but also work towards it. Stay consistent, and you're going to do everything that you want to do. Just focus.
don't worry about what nobody else got to say because it don't matter nothing that anybody else got to say matters when you have your mindset on what you want to do so i just wanted to leave y'all with that if you found this video helpful and if you enjoyed the video be sure to like comment and subscribe if you're new and i'm gonna see y'all in the next video